So, to to stay festive, now that we're all adults and we can literally make our own traditions, like, is there anything you've done or have done in the past you're, like, trying to make maintain that as a tradition for yourself or you think it would be a cool tradition to get into? Or it could be anything. Like, I personally really like those... Uh, those fake fireplaces you can put on your TV that play Christmas music. I enjoy. I like putting those on any time of the year. To be honest, it yeah. was uh, it was summer. I put it on. It's like this is relaxing atmosphere. Is it not sticking on so well, Isaiah? Oh, it's, it's, it's fine. Fine. <laughs> Cut this part out. No, leave it in. The reality is important. Yeah, leave it in. I don't care. Buy a loose neck. I'm about having a nice aesthetic. This will not be in here. <laughs> Technical differences. Technical differences, as Isaiah says. God damn it. <laughs> I like those fireplaces, particularly on Christmas Eve. Like, just waiting for for everything to, like, happen. And you're still awake because you're uh-huh. an insomniac like me, apparently. Um, and you just listen to nice Christmas music. Maybe drink hot chocolate if you got it, you know. And just kind of bask in that little bit of Christmas spirit that is... Very hard to find when you're an adult, I feel like. Did you say Carol Baskins? <laughs> no. Oh, but, you husband. know, it's not a bad time to maintain that she needs to be looked into still. And she killed that guy. It, it Literally all the answers are there. Possibly even more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the only thing I think I've been able to maintain traditionalized as an adult is I drink eggnog. Like, this is the time of year I would do it. I, I You can't really find it Mm-mm. any other time either. That's like my, a out of necessity tradition. My wife asked me a beautiful question with s- real sincerity, and I might feel bad about sharing this with everyone afterwards. She was looking at me as we were sitting on the couch watching TV. She's like, "Can you make eggnog, or can you only buy it?" I never thought about making eggnog. <laughs> well, I, I looked at her I was like, Are "You serious? Yeah. Like, what's even in it?" It's like well, eggs <laughs> and some other crap. Some nog. Mm-hmm. But I just sat there for a minute and I looked and I was like, "Hey Ash, what's up? Can you can you like make sandwiches at home, <laughs> or can you only buy them from the store?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "I get it, Isaiah." Zing. Could you say you egged her on? Give me a little, little bit. Ooh. I hate that I did. I'll that. give you a small nog. <laughs> I've noticed there. Um. Yeah, that's about it, though. Like you said, I love eggnog. I'm lactose intolerant, which I know isn't fashionable these days in 2020. You know, you gotta set your is. gotta set your intolerance aside. Um, but yeah, I would drink it all year round if it, <laughs> if it was available. Probably. Can you imagine, man, we'd all be so much like bigger if we just drank eggnog all the time. It'd be that Stuff psycho. Like pure fat. Be that psycho walking around summer with ice in his eggnog, <laughs> drinking uh, out of a bowl no. of pop cup, so nobody Get notices. <laughs> you go to Circle K, they have like eggnog in the dispenser. Yeah, just slog that nog in this cup. Go out, slog it in. Slog it in. So that's your that's your tradition. You want to keep alive and well. I'm always gonna have some nog. Do you ever do the a nice little spiked eggnog? I tried it one year, but I didn't know what to put in it, so I just put Jack Daniels. And it didn't mix at all. Well, they they make Ugh. that. I think like a Jack Daniels. Jack with eggnog. Per- well, it's I don't know if they make it pre-made already, but you can buy the ones that say Jack Daniels, but it's like no alcohol in here, so you still have to put your own in, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, you think it's Southern Comfort? No, I think they do a Jack one. They do a Jack one too. I know they make Southern Comfort. Are you, Comfort. Are you That's talking what about? People put in yeah. There. But I, I guess ideally you could put anything in there. Jack definitely makes me feel like I would not want. No, uh, it it was gross. It did not mix like at all, like I said. And then so you just taste straight up Jack Daniels every every drink, which I know someone's gonna be like, Ooh, blah, blah, blah. um, and then I ran to the guy who owns Quality Liquor, and he was like, "No, why would you mix Jack Daniels in it? This is an awful idea." Like, it's the worst thing you could have done. Yeah, basically, he's could like, vodka, mix. Okay. Mix this, this, mix this, 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 or this, and like you'll be fine. I, th- I don't know. I did try it. I think with Southern Comfort one time, and even then, I was like, 
think I just got no, used so cool. to this without alcohol. And I don't like Southern Comfort to begin with. Well, so. for, for me, it's like I didn't ever drink any mixed drinks that had like a kind of cream in them. Because you know, you drink it and it just curls in your stomach and you just feel gross after a minute. Yeah, White Russians, I don't, again, I don't, I'm not like a dairy milk guy, but White Russians are good. I don't even like vodka. I think it's just the Kahlua that makes it taste Kahlua. any type of appealing. But I don't know. I don't think egg, eggnog should have alcohol. I haven't had a good version of that yet. And I feel like one that would actually taste good wouldn't really be strong. So you'd have to drink like five of them. Yeah, and then that gets to the point of, well, why bother? Yeah. Just take a shot and then drink some eggnog. Like. Yeah. Not that, like, I have a problem or I'm trying to grow one again. But it's like, yeah, don't. No one drinks alcohol because they're like, oh, I love the taste of Jack Daniels. Let me just have myself a nice dinner and a little glass of Jack on the side. Like, I think we all know why we drink SoCo and Jack Daniels. <laughs> yeah. Because we finally want to tell our landlords how we feel about them. <laughs> On Christmas. <laughs> on Christmas. That's my new tradition. My stove is still broken. <laughs> <laughs> I put in that order five months ago. Five. Oh, landlords. Happened at my freaking apartment complex. Our stove still doesn't work. Put in the work order and they never showed up. And we reminded them. Never showed up. And then COVID happened. They were like, oh, we can't come in your apartment now, bud. Real sorry. Sorry. It's pro- I wonder how bad it is to like fix that. Imagine I don't it's just know. a thermometer issue, right? Just it doesn't. Whatever. Landlords, slum lords, whatever you want to call them. What about you, Xavier? Do you have any new traditions or traditions you like? Maybe they're just you. You don't invite uh, your family to, for them. You're like, nah. Yeah, Xavier. Tell us, Xavier. <laughs> Are you insinuating something? <laughs> nope. I think Isaiah was. I, I was not. I got <laughs> the hint <laughs> that I don't know what it is. <laughs> Um, I was just hoping Angel would echo it. He, he oh. Um, <clears throat> not. It's a freaking moth one. Nice. Spooky. That's like nine years of bad luck to you people, right? <laughs> it also symbolizes death. Huh. Um, I really don't have, like, any, like, major traditions. I mean, there I have this group of friends where we'd always we've been having like christmas parties for the past couple of years mm. like that was always really fun to do last year we did it at my friend Luce's house <laughs> so but those have always been fun i brought isaiah to one a long time ago you yeah. probably don't remember but you i brought you one you were with someone else at the time but i had invited you a couple oh, of years back to like one of them that's the one of the priest was there yeah yeah okay i remember that but you so know, I just remember playing Uno. Uh. But the, I always like those. They're 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 fun and they're just. Last year, last year's was a wild one. It was like a lot of drunk, messy people. It was the best. Um, That's a party. Mm-hmm. It's tradition. A little drama here and there. Oh, naturally. <laughs> I had this one friend who was like drunk. And there was this girl there, and um, we'll call her um, we'll call her like Stacy. That's hilarious because that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> like, just call her Stacy. Yeah. So there, this is girl Stacy, right? And my friend, um, my friend Joe was drunk. These are all pseudonyms. And uh, he goes like Xavier. I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm drunk. I'm like, I'm having a good time. He's like, yeah. He's like, look, look at Stacy over there. Yeah, Stacy knows she's a bad bitch over there with a fat ass. <laughs> and <laughs> he's like, you think she heard that? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, boy. That caused the whole thing, I am. No, it was, everyone was like, Joe's just being drunk. He's Joe's being him. Drunk. That's a pretty good excuse. Sent a few apologetic messages the, <laughs> the next day. It's the, in the words of the beautiful comic John Mulaney, it's one of the best get out of jail free cards. Just, oh, sorry, I was drunk. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't say, oh, sorry, I'm just a jerk. <laughs> and people are like, oh, no, I get it. You it's know, like, like, I get it. You had my grandpa was many. a jerk. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I would view that as a compliment. 
If someone's like, hey, Isaiah, <laughs> like, bad you're, bitch. you're a bad bitch with fat ass. <laughs> I mean, at first I'd be confused and I'd be like, no, thanks. Yeah, yeah I'd take that. I Why appreciate not? No, no one's ever told me that. It's genuinely <laughs> confusing, but I guess assuring. God. I'll take the compliment. 